Just <laughs>
Kobe. That's what we were born with. Uh, the for the game is deep, you know. Um, I think what's the most impressive to me is he continued to play for his country each summer. I think that's something that should be recognized. Um, he's, what, 39 years old, and he's playing his tail off, man. He looks great out there. Um, somebody that we're having a hard time staying in front of, uh, but you can just tell how much he loves the game of basketball. And, you know, that's something that you can appreciate. You know, it's hard to see it from like, you know, from watching on TV. Maybe you probably still see it from watching on TV, but when you're out on the court, it's on another level. It's, you know, he's just, he, he's someone that's a first ballot Hall of Famer who we enjoy having in this league. A lot of a lot of us grew up watching Manu and really respecting this game. So to play against him and have battles with him year in and year out is, is pretty epic. His, his list is his list. You're the most exciting European player that I've seen. Period. So forget his list. <laughs> period. <laughs> the, period. the most exciting. Even pay, uh, wait, wait, the wait, most wait. exciting. What about Petrovic? The most exciting. Petrovic? The most exciting. Petrovic could score. Oh, yeah, but he was not ex uh, uh uh. The most exciting. Who you seen dunk like this man here? Uh on somebody. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Kenny. Hot plays for magic. He sacrificed for this team. Oh <laughs> That's a sacrifice. That sacrifice might have been too much. He gave up a lot. <laughs> right? He also gave up that starter's role. Yes. Also, I mean, he was a starter on the team. He was he was not on the on the border. He was definitely starter level. Can you imagine them coming to you and saying, "Oh, we actually just think you'll give us a little more off the bench." You know what? That just goes to tell you that the game is bigger than any individual. Facts. Him using this as an example, coming off the bench, sacrificing, not being an all-star for years, uh, just giving up that superstar role completely and sacrificing for the benefit of the San Antonio Spurs, the championships that they've won. Uh, you know, when you win, good things come out of it. This is a prime example of a guy that believed in that. Because I think as a player, you have to sacrifice no matter what. There's no player in this game that has sacrificed more than this young man. If you had, if they had come to you, if Phil Jackson had come to you and said, you know what, Scotty, I, I just, I need you to come off the bench. How hard would that have been? It wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been a good fit for me. And especially <laughs> with all the controversy, Tony Kukoc. Right, right. You know, it, 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 oh, was there? See, that's the thing about, and Scotty is right on the money. It's like, you know. This is, you know, bigger than the game for Manu to embrace to come off the bench without any problem or hesitation or attitude about it. Like you have like star players, you know, like Carmelo Anthony that don't want to be coming off the bench and all that. And for him to just sacrifice that and just come off the bench, you know, instead of just like it just shows you that Manu had no ego whatsoever, no ego like he was willing to do whatever it takes. That's what a mind of a competitor or a champion looks like is he'll do whatever it takes to win, to win. And for Manu to do that, man, hats off to him, man. Hats off. Who knows how many all-stars, who knows what would have happened if Manu didn't decide, didn't want to come off the bench. Who knows what would have happened though. But for him to do that, it just tells you just the dedication he has to win, to win the title. Controversy over that? I don't, yeah, I don't remember. Of but I just don't think I was cut out to be a player to come off the bench. Mm -hmm. I believe that I was cut out to be a leader, mm -hmm. and that was a role that I only accepted. He could still but be a leader coming off the bench. I take my hat off to him, and the fact that he did it with class, and he did it under one of the toughest coaches. Most guys would have, like, trained me. I, I don't want to play with this guy. He, right. you know, he's not starting me, but he, he took him like a man, and look at the huge reward of getting your jersey. Facts. What a block. I remember that.
think of Manu, I think of the ultimate competitor. Oh, my! Manu Jabal! Oh, he got up high. on the line. The guy that, that finds a way to get a win. What a pass. He was a, not just a player with energy. There are other players with energy. But he was so intelligent in reading teammates and understanding what needed to be done whether it was in a basketball game or after a game on a bus or on an airplane, just curious about making everybody feel comfortable in the environment. And that's something that you just can't teach. I'm one of the best competitors I've ever played against and played with. I'm one of the smartest basketball players. I'm one of the smartest people. <laughs> rather frenetic when you think about it. And you never could pigeonhole it. favorite memory of Manu, we were coming down the stretch and he took a long three and he made it. And it kind of closed out the game and it was just Manu being Manu. I remember us playing San Antonio in Toronto when I was with Toronto. Fast break and me and Manu was kind of going for the ball. He got the ball and I was trying to stop him. He threw the ball between my legs. <laughs> and ran around and got the ball and kept going. <laughs> and it happened so quick. It caught me off the guard. I hope I can find the footage of that. Ginobili gets to traffic. Nice. I call him a rare dude. It's rare to come across a dude like that. The greatest. One of the greatest. Love that dude. You're going to be part of something special. What do you think about Manu and his retirement? I got nothing else to do. Man, Kevin Lee is one of the, uh, especially at that position, the uh, one of the greatest uh, to ever play. Uh, obviously, being a lefty, he he also has his uh, oh. the Euro step that he, he, he you know brought into the game uh, or made made famous, really. So you see so many guys using that today and so many guys practicing that, practicing that even, uh, <laughs> even big guys. But, you know, he had so much success in his career uh, internationally as well in FIBA basketball um, and he was a guy that I just love watching play because he brought it every single game and you know that's a talent in itself as well as you know how well he played in the championship games that he was on um, you know he's a really really special player and means a lot to not only San Antonio but the entire league so you know a guy that uh, I think is uh, universally probably well liked and and I know for sure well respected uh, in the game of basketball and beyond so um, I love man I mean you could ask anybody here uh, you know about his game and it's going to be mo I mean all positive unless you know you're playing against him so a truly a uh, truly great player yeah, sustain, I would say sustained greatness and, and excellence and that's just kind of been the spurs and man it was a, a huge part of that superlatives that we use for a lot of athletes I wanted to write down for Manu Ginobili okay. they actually apply we know he's a champion. Yep. How about him being clutch? Yep. How about him being tough? Yep. He's really crafty. We talk a lot about the Euro step, and I know that Sharunas Marcelonis was initially the person that brought that to the NBA, but he kind of revolutionized it playing on that big stage. Like so, I said earlier. As a guy that's been a six-man that could have easily been a starter, another term is sacrifice. Mm -hmm. His ego never played into See? the San Antonio Spurs scenario where it became a distraction. I'll come off the bench. Don't be the primary ball handler when he's out there. And when I come in, then it's all downhill pick and roll actions, playmaking for other people. He's a terrific performer. I think he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. It's really irreplaceable. So guys, hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. And Manu Ginobili's a Hall of Famer without a doubt. And he truly did impact the game. So tell me what is your favorite Manu Ginobili moment. And make sure you like, share, subscribe, and show love to the YG gang. And I'm out. Man, I'll tell you what, man. Manu Ginobili, man. Crafty, you see them highlights how crafty he was. You know, the guy was clutch when he's hot, he is unguardable when he's hot, and just the, the passing ability that he has like, you know, coming in 1999, you know, and you know, Popovich was, you know, criticizing him for being wild and crazy. Like, if you look at the beginning of his years, he was wild and crazy in terms of how he was playing, but like 
each year he like Popovich just found a way just to control his game but still be effective for that team so shout out to Popovich for that though um and you won't find another Manu Ginobili. I mean, I don't think you can find another player that will have the heart, tenacity, the sacrifice, the non-ego, the, you know, clutchness of like a Manu Ginobili. I mean, he was just perfect for the Spurs. I can't imagine any other team, you know, that he could be on. I mean, he could jump on any team, but with the Spurs, he was just a legend in itself, you know, one of the greatest six men of all time. Um, Man, he was just a pleasure to watch. He was a pleasure to watch um, on the court as a real Hooper fan and everything. Um, so shout out to Manu Ginobili, man. Um, definitely comment down below and tell me your thoughts on Manu Ginobili. Uh, comment down below and tell me what you want me to react to next. Make sure you like this video if you like this video at the end. Subscribe down below to It's Just JP for more basketball content. Click the notification bell. You will know when my next upload is. I'm JP and we out of here. Peace.